hello. Let me give you guys a minute or two to hop on. See who's with us tonight. I'm gonna go for it because we've got lots to go through with Miss Irma. Hi Susie! Okay, so I people are gonna join when um, as we keep going here, but I'm gonna get going on Irma because I don't even know. There's like, fucking, like 15 ways to wear her. I don't even know. Um, okay, so let's talk about Irma. Um, most of you guys are familiar with Irma. Irma is one of LuLaRoe's best. You, be <laughs> Jackie, are you um, being sarcastic or do you really not have a lot of Irmas? <laughs> I never know. <laughs> Most of you know, Irma is actually um, LuLaRoe's number one selling top. It is our tunic. It is a perfect match in heaven with um, all of our buttery soft leggings because, as you can see, the Irma I'm wearing right now, it is longer in the back. It's long in the front, so it covers um, everything you want covered. It's even longer in the back, which is great. Um, so it is great with our um, leggings, obviously. It is great with, um, if you just want to throw it on with some jeans, super, super cute. I love Irma with Cassie, and um, we're going to talk about that in a minute. And I also love Irma. I actually love Irma with any of our skirts, and we're going to talk about that again, uh, that later as well. But uh, I love Irma over a Julia, or over really any of the dresses too. <laughs> That'll last more. That's good. That's good. You're going to want more after this, Jackie. I promise. All right. So I'm wearing Irma as Irma right now, and I'm going to kind of. Um, we're going to go a little outside the box. We're going to kind of go in the box a little bit. Lots of ways to show you. But let's talk about um, Lula and Ro behind me um, and what they are wearing right now so I can then kind of move them out of my way. But first things first. Okay, so I, I mentioned Irma over Julia. Irma is a big flowy top. It is meant to be that way. This is how it is cut. So I love it paired with Julia because you've got that straight line, that more Cassie fitted um situation more of a straight fitted line um, on the bottom which kind of counteracts that flowy blousey top um, really really nicely so here I've got a Julia dress which is paired um, with a an Irma which I've just knotted on the side to take take a little bit of that Irma up um, and in because obviously if you're wearing a dress like that you don't need all the coverage that um, Irma provides when wearing it in its normal fashion. Um, so here she is over Julia. I think it is an awesome look. You can totally do it over Carly too. We're gonna talk about that. I think I need to do a video about layering over, um, over dresses because there's so many options. Uh, but here she is over Julia and I think um, this is actually a really cute, um, cute, cute pairing here. I think it's an extra, extra small Irma and a small Julia. So super cute there. And now, yeah, I can, uh, yeah, absolutely. Sure, Shannon, sure. So this is, if you could leave it unknotted too, if that's what you were looking for. If you wanted a little bit longer look, it absolutely works that way too. If I did do this, I would probably add a belt or something to kind of, uh, kind of give it a little bit of shape um, because it kind of just becomes one straight line. Um, and you, you, want to, you want to have a little bit of shape. You, you know, you, you do want to have a figure um, somewhere under there. So if I, if I left it like this, which you totally could, uh, I would probably add a belt or some sort of um, structure to it. So there she is, Irma over Julia. Okay, let's talk about my friend uh, Ro. That was Lula. I'm going to move Lula out of the way. Uh, let's talk about Ro, which my daughter so aptly named my dress forms, Lula and Ro. Now, uh, first of all, Ro is uh, rocking the most awesome hamburger Irma 
ever. Someone needs to buy this piece. It is amazing. It's a medium. It is a... Uh, I just put Lula like in the doorway and I thought someone was watching me. That was really freaky. All right, so we've got a medium Irma here. Our, our hamburger Irma with, um, it's got that plum uh, like little pattern going through it. So I actually paired this with a plum medium Cassie. Uh, just like I was talking about with um, Julia, I like the straight line of the Cassie with the bigger flowy top of Irma. And the way that I have her here is another way that I like to style it. It's a little bit harder on the dress form um, to really show you the idea um, it's a little bit easier on a human, but I'm wearing leggings today, so I couldn't do it for you, but one day I will. But I like it if you kind of just tuck the front of Irma in with Cassie. You obviously can't tuck it in if you're wearing Julia, right? And then leaving the back long so it's kind of covering. Um, I think that's just a really super cute look. Throw it with some sandals or something like that. Um, absolutely adorable. So there she is with um, Irma and Cassie. And here, um, Shannon, I'm also going to take her out here. You can totally rock her along with, um, with Cassie, just like we did. It, it works the same as Julia, basically. But again, I would probably cinch it in with a belt or something like that just to give her a little bit um, of shape. All right, so there are the dress forms. That's not even, we're not even started yet, kids. We're not even started. So let's get started with um, the one that I'm wearing. So let's talk about sizing for Irma. Irma's complicated with sizing. I don't, it's not really complicated. It just seems that way for some reason. Irma, Irma's true to size, most people's true to size for Irma is two down from their normal size. So if you were a medium, you're probably an extra small Irma. If you were a small, you're probably an extra, extra small Irma, um, and so on and so forth. So, so when I say true to size, I'm usually referring to two sizes down from your normal top size. Um, if, um, some, some women who are a little bustier on the top or um, a little um, don't like fitted arms so much because Lula, uh, Lula, Irma does have a fitted sleeve with the um, drop seam here. So this is where the seam on Irma is. It's not up the shoulder like we're used to. It's actually down here, um, and that's where you get that flowiness, all right, from under here because this is where the seam is. So some people don't like the arms fitted too much, so they actually only size down one instead of two totally normal, whatever your true to size happens to be. And again, that could change um, depending on the fabrics too. A thicker cotton might not stretch as much as a, um, a thinner ribbed material. So my true to size is extra, extra small. That is what I'm wearing right now. That is what I'm gonna show you all the true to size techniques, shall we say, um, for Irma. So let's get started. First of all, um, what, where, where it is Irma, obviously. Um, over leggings, over jeans, over Julia, over Cassie, over any of the dresses, just like we just talked about. Also works with any of the skirts, Azure, Maxi, Cassie, all of them, uh, which we'll go more into detail with. But next, we're going to do what we always do, guys. We're going to start with a knot, okay? The knot is your go-to. I'm going to take a side knot here, and I'm going to, again, this is um, true to size. And for the purposes of this video, I do have a long tank over my um, black leggings, but if I take it in the side, you guys can see, I take in a little bit of that fabric, I give it a little more structure, it's maybe not covering me as much as I might like. So in this case, I think a turquoise, with the pattern I'm watching, I'm wearing right now, I think a turquoise um, layering tank, something that covers um, your bottom, um, would be super cute under this, like as a pop of color, like a purple or a turquoise would be super, super cute. And I like that little asymmetrical look, you get a little bit of ruching happening on there, and then there you do, simple side knot, changes the shape of your Irma, okay? So now I'm going to take that side knot, and I'm going to move it to the back. So I'm going to take my fabric, pull it around my waist, and I'm going to do a knot right in the center of my back. And trust me, you get better and better at knotting behind your back when you do, the, <laughs> when you do these videos. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I am knotting behind my back. Maybe you don't get better at it, because I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> we, need, we need to start that over. Hold, please. I'm going to knot in the middle of my back. There we go. All right. <laughs> and so now, I'm doing the, it's the same, um, same technique, same idea. I'm trying to take in, give it a little more fitted look. Still nice and blousey up here. If you don't like things fitted on you, like a Randy T or a Julia dress or something like that, this is a great alternative. You can still get a little bit of structure and fittedness 
but you, um, is that a word? But it's still nice and blousey on the top, so you're not like, it's not like sucking you in. Um, and then this knot in the back, obviously you can play with it and make it look a little bit nicer. If you don't want the knot in the back, which I probably wouldn't, um, I would just throw on a Sarah or a Joy or some sort of layering piece, um, and then no knot. So, like, easy breezy. And I would do this over leggings, I would do it over skinny jeans. Again, if I did it over leggings, I'd probably put that layering tee underneath to kind of cover because you can see at true to size, it goes pretty high up on my waist. But then I throw that Joy on top or whatever, knot's gone, and you still have that super cute fitted look. Okay? All right, moving along. So I'm going to take off my knot, and I give everyone two guesses what we're going to do next. Because we are done with the knot, right? Yes, we're done with the knot, and we're going to grab my favorite accessory. The belt! I know you were all thinking it. All right, so I'm going to take my, this happens to be a thin belt. I'm going to show you um, options with thin belts and thick belts. I'm going to put my belt on, and just kind of a little, um, little trick when you are wearing a belt you can, sometimes it's nice to just kind of turn it around backwards so you don't have the um, clasp and everything showing and you just get that nice clean look right there. And guys, I'm wearing a metallic belt. Metallic is neutral. This is neutral, guys. This belt goes with everything, all right? I know I'm wearing black, um, but I can totally rock a metallic belt with my black. All right, so there it is belted. Super cute. Takes it in, gives it a little shape, just like I was talking about on our dress forms there. You still get the high-low. You still get the coverage. We're going to take that same idea. Now, all I'm going to do is blouse it. It's going to take the length up, obviously. And now I have a whole other really cute look. It's, no, denim. It's coming, Victoria. Don't you worry. I can't do a style video without denim. <laughs> I'm only like three things in. <laughs> all right, you guys. And there it is with the um, belted blouse look. Totally different look, but super, super cute. I would probably rock this with um, some skinny jeans and some booties or something like that. I think that would be really cute. So there you go, belted. Now that's with the thin belt. Now I would also take a thicker belt, a wider belt, and let me show you what I would do with that. Um, and a, for a wider belt, I would probably, I mean, you could rock, you could just rock it regular, um, down at your waist, you know, like that. Super cute. It's, it works with the wider belt, too. I actually prefer a wider belt to be a little bit higher, like under my bust. Extra, extra small, Becky. Extra, extra small is what I have on right now. We're doing the true-to-size techniques right now, true-to-size. So if I did a thicker belt, I would probably put it a little bit higher. Um, I think it just lays better um, when it's a little bit higher um, on the body than uh, the thicker ones down here. So there it is with a thick belt. Again, you're getting your coverage. You're just giving it a little structure, a little figure, right? Okay, next. All right, we're going to do our tried and true rubber band technique, just like we did with Carly. Okay, so this Irma is very long in the back, right? Very long in the back. So I'm going to, I recommend doing this with the shirt off first so you get it directly in the center of your back. It is way easier, trust me, and then put the shirt on. Uh, for purposes of video, I'm going to try and do it behind my back. So I'm going to grab a bunch of fabric in the middle of my back. You guys have seen me do this. And then I'm going to grab, just grab that fabric and rubber band it. I don't know if you guys can see me doing this. So I've taken that, I've just kind of grabbed some fabric. And now I've got that cute little waterfall. And basically what this does is it takes in some of that um, extra fabric around here and it brings up the back a little bit so the back is not quite as long. Great look for, um, you know, rocking it with your skirts or anything like that. You could still totally rock it with the leggings this way if you just wanted to bring up the back a little bit. Maybe the arma you got is cut a little bit longer in the back and you just want to bring it up. That is a great way to do it. All right, so just cinch it in. Cinch it in with your rubber band. All right, and you guys, you guys have seen me do that. We've done it with Carly. I think we did it with perfect tea. It's it's a it's a go-to for sure. All right, now let's talk about skirts. Let's talk about skirts. So I'm going to take this azure. This happens to be a medium azure, um, which is a, a smidge big for me, but I'm making it work because it, it 
it's cute. And I'm going to throw this Azure on, and I'm going to tuck in my Irma. Everyone's like, you can tuck in an Irma? Yes, you can tuck in an Irma. You can absolutely tuck in an Irma. It is great. Now, let's talk about it. This works for... Um, it works for Cassie. It works for Azure. Obviously, it works for, great for Maxi. It's really great for Maxi. Um, what did I want to go first? I just want to make sure. Okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is where you wear your skirt. We're kind of we're gonna veer off uh, Irma for just a second and talk about skirts. There's a couple things you can do here, and you're gonna get two different looks with it. You can wear it at your waist, just like that. Super cute, tucked in Irma. Looks great, right? For me, because this one is a little big. I might even fold the band over and wear it folded, cut off a little bit of the height for me, and then make it a little um, little easier around the waist. Easy, okay? It's also great to kind of take your skirts up and wear them a little bit higher. I don't know if any of you guys um, own Madisons. I don't, I don't sell Madisons, but I own them. Um, and I love uh, wearing my Madisons up a little bit higher. So if you have one, just a little trick. So now I've taken this... Um, Azure, and I'm putting it right under the bust. I've still got my Irma all the way tucked in, right? And I just think it's adorable with a belt, that thick belt that I like to put, um, what I was talking about, putting that thick belt right under the bust. I think this is so cute. It gives it a totally different look. So it's like, it's almost like a dress with just a crop, um, crop top and then the, uh, the skirt underneath. So I think that's awesome. And you know me, I would, you could totally throw a blazer over this and go to the office. Or here's my biggest point to this whole skirt situation. Azure and Maxi are not just for spring and summer. You can rock Azure and Maxi all year round. So now I've got this on with the Irma. So I've got the three quarter sleeves. I've got the, um, the belt in the Azure. I've got leggings underneath in the winter. I would totally do that. You could totally do that with Maxi if you wanted to. Throw on a jacket, throw on a, a puffy vest, throw on some boots, and you can take your Maxis and your Azures. I would wear like a um, tall boot with this or something like that, and you take your Maxis and Azures to fall and winter. You can wear them all year long, I promise you. All right, so there's that look there. And that was my little side talk about skirts. All right. Now I'm off track. Where are we going next? <laughs> I have my old cheat sheet over here, so I don't forget anything. Okay. All right. We're going to size up now. We're going to size up. Because, like, I, uh, my little teaser there, I'm, we're going up to an XL. I'm going from an XXS to an XL tonight. You're going to blow your minds. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to go up two sizes and throw on a small next, right? Yes. Okay. Be right back. All right, small Irma coming next. I know the colors of the, I, I'm, I'm kind of in love with that. The more I wear it, I'm kind of in love with that Irma even more. I'm in love with all of these now that I've done this um, video. This one happens to be sold today. This one's sold today, so it's no longer available. Everything else that I'm wearing today is, at least for now. All right, <laughs> so we're moving on to... I've got a small Irma on. Obviously a little bit bigger, right? A little more fabric going on in here. I could still rock it like this. If I see a small Irma and I have to have the pattern, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. You can rock it just like this in a bigger size. If it's, this one actually, um, this is more cotton, so it doesn't have as much stretch as maybe a slinky one would. Take it off the shoulder. <laughs> you need the last outfit. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. Everything you're seeing tonight is for sale, except for this one. <laughs> so you can take it off the shoulder with a cute tank underneath. That would be really cute um, because it's a little bit bigger. You got a little more room in the neck. You could absolutely do that. And then you would do the same thing that we talked about with the knots, with the belts, all that kind of stuff. Um, if I added a belt to this, all I'm doing is bringing it in, giving it a little shape. And I always put this belt on back. I don't know. I can put it on 17 times. I always put it on uh, backwards. All right. So add a belt to this. Super cute. Brings it in. You can't even tell. You cannot even tell it's two, two sizes too big, right? All right. So that that's it with a belt. You guys, you can do the same thing with the knots that we talked about. I'm going to go ahead and just do the side knot for you right now because I want to show you one more thing with that. So when you're doing your knot... 
on the side with something that's bigger than your true to size, what's going to happen is, I am not doing well with my knots today. We're going to pretend that that was a good knot. Um, what's going to happen is, remember I talked about putting that layering tank underneath your extra, extra small or your true to size um, Irma uh, because it didn't cover as much. Well, if you do it with a bigger size, you're going to cover more because there's obviously, it's going to be a little bit longer. There's going to be a little more fabric. So you can still do that side knot. Again, take it off the shoulder if you want or don't. Uh, but you are going to have the coverage, so you probably won't need the tank this time. And then you just play with it so that the ruching is, um, is where you want it. But there's a small Irma. Totally fits. Totally works. Okay? Two sizes up from my true to size um, on Irma. All right. And then you could totally do it with the back knot, too. I'm not going to do that. But you guys get the idea. Um, do the back knot. Throw your layering piece over. Take it in a little bit. And there you go. All right. We're going up another size. I'm going to a medium now. In this one, we're going to blow your mind. All right, maybe if I don't put it on backwards. Here we go. All right, now I am rocking the super adorable. I'm in love with this one. This is a medium Irma. It is a slinky Irma. It is three sizes too big for me. This is where we're at now. Again, wear it big, rock it off the shoulder. Super cute, add your belt, do your knots, all that stuff. It all works, it all works. But I'm going to step off camera for just one second and get ready. Get ready. It's, it's going to get crazy. Hold on one second. All right. I'm going to kind of situate myself here. And you're like, what is she doing? What's going on? We are going to take this Irma and rock it. I know I love this one too. It's one of my favorites. Um, we're going to rock it off the shoulder. Okay. So you're getting the idea already, but I've got this. What am I going to do with this? This little sleeve can't stay here. So the first thing, the first option to kind of lose this is to just go ahead and take it. Obviously, I pulled one arm out and put it through the neck hole. I think you guys got that, right? Um, so the first thing to do to kind of lose this is to take it and tuck it in to the neck hole. And I'm going to kind of pull it down so it stays. There we go. Super cute, off the shoulder look, add a belt, add a layer, all those super cute things, right? Adorable. Okay. If you don't want to tuck it in, this is probably my favorite way to do it is to tuck it in um, into the neck hole. If you don't want to do it, the other option is to take that sleeve and just pull it inside out so that the sleeve is going inside now. See, that's my arm inside the sleeve. So I've got the off the shoulder look, and now I've got this, um, this, but the problem with this way is now you've got this hole. This little hole here, kind of looks like you got a pocket where it doesn't belong. I'm not so into that. So what you could do though, is totally take a belt and kind of camouflage that hole a little bit. If you guys don't have a belt, you need to go out and buy a belt right now. That's what, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Somebody needs to go out and buy a belt if you don't have one. But you can camouflage that hole a little bit by um, adding your belt. And then you don't have that big, like, poofy hole hanging there. But look how cute that is, right? Off the shoulder. This is a medium Irma, so this is three up from my normal size. You could probably do this with two up. You could probably do this with four up. Um, you'd have to experiment with um, sizing and fabrics. But there you go. All right, I'm going to step off camera one more time because we're going to get a little crazier. One moment, please. All right. Just about ready. Okay. So now we're getting crazy, guys. We are getting crazy. As you can see, I have taken both arms out through the neck hole. Now I want to say, guys, all the stuff that I'm doing right now with this, do not try and do this with your true to size Irma's. You're going to be sad. You're going to stretch out the neck holes. You're going to, you're going to be calling me because they're going to be all like out of shape and stuff. This is for sizing up. Do not try and do this with your true to size. Okay. You, you won't be happy. 
All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take, I've got my um, neck hole going around here. I've got my sleeves. I'm going to pull the fabric up over, the, over the, uh, that neckline, and I'm going to tie it behind my neck. And I'm going to make the cutest halter top ever. Now, you can kind of, so you get this really nice draping effect with this, and you can adjust that draping with how tight or loose you do your knot behind your neck. So I'm going to do it on the looser side, if I can, again, I need, I still need more practice tying behind my back. Ridiculous. You guys like that one? I'm getting hearts. I love it. All right, let me make sure that I have this tied properly. Okay. So, as you can see, I got my little knot behind my neck, and now I have this super adorable halter top. It doesn't even look like Irma anymore, you guys. It doesn't even look like Irma. How cute is that? Super adorable. All right, so now we're going to do my favorite thing to do. We're going to add a belt, because why not? We're changing the look again. I would probably do this with a really cute skinny jean and like a, a heel booty or something like that and go out for dinner. How adorable. Okay. Or you guys are asking for it. Here comes, here comes the denim vest. I love this because it's got that draping happening in here, that like um, scarf effect. And I love that over, um, over the denim. So there's your, I'm going out outfit, right? Works with the black leggings. Obviously, you could do it with the uh, layering tank if you wanted to, if you wanted a little more coverage, um, or just throw it on with some uh, skinny jeans. Also, all of the skirts totally works with the skirts. So there you go. We've got a halter top, right? Yes, awesome. So awesome. All right. We're getting crazier. Get ready. We are going to get crazier. I'm going to take this belt off. Hold, please. All right. All right, so now I've got the belt off. We're back down with the neck around, around me here. We're gonna take Irma and we are gonna turn her into a dress. Yes, we are. We're gonna turn her into a strapless dress. So it's basically, it's so easy. You're just taking the sleeves and there's a few things you can do. You can tie them in the front and you have this, and this one, this one lays pretty nicely. Actually, I, I probably wouldn't mind this, um, this knot in the front. And especially with this pattern, it's a little bit camouflaged. So here you go. I would, you can leave the leggings on. You can totally take the leggings off. You can put this over a skirt. Um, it's not going anywhere, guys. It's, uh, it's, you gotta, you know, you gotta deal with your size. You gotta figure out what size this works best for you. But there is your, tuck the tag in. <laughs> this is your strapless dress with the sleeves tied into the front, okay? Super adorable. Or you can take those sleeves for a little cleaner look if you don't want that bow in the front. Take those sleeves and tie them in the back. So this is gonna change the look in the front a little bit. It's gonna clean it up a little bit. You're not gonna have that, um, that bow in the middle. So you've got your cute little bow in the back. Again, it's, you, can't, you can barely see it. It's kind of camouflaged. All right, so there is your strapless dress, a little bit cleaner. All you're seeing is that pattern in the front. And I would totally rock a joy over this. It would be adorable. There you go. How cute, right? Leggings on, leggings off, skirt, whatever you want. But now we've got our Irma dress with our joy. But I'm not done with the dress yet. I'm going to untie the back. And I'm going to turn Irma sideways. It doesn't matter which way. I'm going to turn her sideways. So now i got a sleeve in the front and a sleeve in the back. And I've got this asymmetrical line happening on the bottom. And I'm going to take her and I'm going to do a side knot. I love a side knot, guys. Who doesn't love a side knot? So we're going to take that same concept and we're going to put the knot on the side. And I like this for two reasons. One, it's hard to see with this pattern. But you get a little bit of that ruching in here. Their little side knot, super cute. And then you get the asymmetrical skirt, which you know that's totally in right now, right? Those a, uh, asymmetrical lines on the bottom. So there is your side tie. So we tied the dress in the front, we tied it in the back, and we tied it to the side. And here you go. Okay, 
I have one more trick up my sleeve for the medium, then I'm going to hop up to the um, large, extra large. I'm going to step off camera to kind of resituate myself. I will be back in a moment. All right, almost there. All right, guys. So you can see I still have my Irma on, but instead of around my bust, I have dropped it to my waist because we're about to turn your Irma into a skirt. Yes, we are. We are going to turn this Irma into a skirt. Again, this is a medium. This is three sizes up for me. You could probably do um, two sizes up as well, maybe even one size depending on the fabric. All right, so same concept with the skirt as for the strapless dress. You can tie it all three ways. So the first way would be to tie it in the front. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get on my tippy toes or a step stool or something so you guys can see. So cute little bow in the front. This doesn't even really bother me that much. I kind of like that cute little bow. And then, can you guys see? I have, just, I have to stand on something, I feel like. Um, <laughs> But there it is, your cute little skirt, like that, and nobody ever would ever know that that's an Irma. Or again, same thing, you take the sleeves and tie them in the back now. So you're doing your back tie, you're doing your back tie. Cute little back tie, and now you've got this cute little, I actually really like it in the back. Um, because I'm not sure if you can see this. I want you guys to see this. I'm going to kind of pull this down a little bit. Um, it's got that like high low. You can't tell from that way either. I, I really like that this gives you the high, there it is, that high low skirt. So it's higher in the front, lower in the back, which is so in right now. Um, and there it is, your Irma as a skirt. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did with the dress. We're going to turn the Irma sideways and we're going to have one sleeve in the front we're going to have one sleeve in the back and we're going to do our side knot and we're going to get the same look that we did when we did it as um, a dress this would also make a really cute um, kind of beach cover up if you guys wanted to do that so you got your little side knot love a side knot but now we're getting I don't know if you guys can see I wish my camera was a little um, shorter um, you're getting that cute little asymmetrical look all right, so it's a little higher on this side than it is on that side. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little higher on this side than it is on that side. I'm not showing you very well, but I'll jump. There we go. All right. <laughs> so there's your skirt with that um, little cute little ruching to the side knot and then your asymmetrical um, hemline at the bottom. All right, and there's your medium to uh, like three sizes up Irma. All right, I think I got all of that. We are going to, I'm going up three plus sizes. I think like four or five sizes for me. So I'm going to go grab an extra large Irma and I will be right back. Okay. All right, so here I am. I've got an extra large Irma here. This is an extra large ribbed Irma. So it's super, super stretchy and even bigger than a normal extra large Irma, but it's going to work. Just watch. I am going to take this um, extra large Irma. I'm going to put it on backwards. Yes, I am. Extra large Irma on backwards. See how big it is? It's an extra large. Not kidding. I went from an extra, extra small at the beginning of this video to an extra large. So here it is. Now I'm going to take a second Irma. Do not be afraid to layer your Irmas, you guys. Don't be afraid. This, um, this particular Irma happens to be a large. I could do it with another extra large. I could do it with a medium. I could do two mediums. I could do two larges. I could do two extra larges. I could do one of each. Doesn't matter. But I'm going to put this one on the right way. And this is the last one, you guys. I always save the best for last. So I've got my extra large on backwards. I've got my large on forwards. I'm going to step off camera. I'm actually going to take the leggings off so you get the full effect. I want you guys to see the full effect here. All right. 
Here is my adorable Irma layering dress, which of course you need you need to give it some shape, right? I'm gonna add a belt to this like I always do. Here we go. Adding my belt. How cute is my double Irma dress, right? Now, I would totally, to, to wear this out, I would put, of course, you guys don't even have to ask. I would put my denim vest on, because I love it. And I would put on, um, like, some cowboy boots or some, um, uh, some taller boots with this would be super cute. Or maybe some chunky sandals would also be really, really cute. And there you go, your double Irma, large, extra large dress. You guys see it? There's the dress. I mean, the sleeves are a little bit big. You'd have to mess with them too because I obviously didn't take the time to kind of pull the other layer underneath down. So you, you wouldn't have that bunching. You would play with that. Um, but there you go, you guys. There it is. And I'll come in so you can see. It's obviously a little bit bigger here. But with that belt, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. And again, I would probably do this with a pattern. Um, the patterns might um, camouflage some of that extra ruching you would get. But this would be super cute with like a solid and a pattern. I obviously did a stripe and a pattern here. You get that little pop at the top. You get the little pop at the bottom. And then your cute little dress. All right, guys. That is it for the um, Irma styling session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think the, um, the lesson to be learned with this in all of my styling videos, there's like a trend here. You can always size up. You can always size up. If you see a pattern that you love, that you just have to have, but it's not your size because it's too big, not down. You can't usually size down, but you can always size up. So grab it. Get it. Okay? All right, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow night for our live sale. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. Bye.